How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to some more Xerath gameplay. In today's video, I want to give you guys an in-depth Xerath mid lane guide. Kind of give a rundown of what runes I'm running in the current patch, what I'm building, stuff like that. So to quickly go over the runes that I'm running, it is Comet, Manflow, Absolute Focus, and Scorch. So we're running uh, Comet and Scorch just for the early game damage. A lot of times our damage is so low that we're strictly relying on the runes to kind of carry us through the mid lane. It's why we're not running first strike, because first strike is also so weak in the early game that you can't apply any pressure. So if they play any assassins or even any mages, you just lose every single trade because you're uh, so weak. And that's for a secondary, we're running absolute focus, which gives us 30 AP, really strong mid game rune. And then we're running ultimate hunter. So ever since the Zero changed with increasing of uh Zerath ulti charges and increasing damage you become kind of like an ulti bot meaning that like you're so reliant on your ultimate in these team fights that we want to make it as short as possible so we're running ultimate hunter uh, to reduce it pretty much by like 20 25 seconds about but for the first two waves unless we're facing like yasuo akali yon LeBlanc people who can guarantee kill us like early. We want to try to push for the level two. We want to crash it. Nice, nice. Good trade. Good trade. Uh, we want to crash the second wave as possible because we want to ward. Now I'll show you where exactly I ward. It works for both sides. So let me try to crash this. It doesn't really matter if it doesn't crash, but we just wanted to have this time to ward. You can go all the way to Raptors. I normally don't like going all the way to Raptors. I feel like it's kind of a little bit too risky. But I'll ward there. If I was on a Relian Soul side, I'll ward over here. But what I'm going to do now is let the wave push towards me. And we want to do that uh, because, like, we don't want to play underneath his turrets because we're such an immobile mage that if we move up past halfway, get a nice little stun, walk away. We're going to take some damage here and do some trades. That's fine. It, it, like, we lost uh, a little bit of health. We knew it did come and... Uh, gank early level three but it delays his clear he's gonna lose scuttle and we didn't die we didn't burn flash which is the big thing and that's why i wanted him to push towards me because i can play safer i, I don't want to be pushed up especially versus nuno it kind of doesn't matter what jungler we're talking about it's just in general we don't want to be pushed up past a halfway marker unless we're like pushing to reset the wave unless we just killed him but i am down to health potions which is unfortunate because i was trading really well with him in laning phase uh before your first back you really want to use kind of like you don't want to do aggressive poking like you can do a poking here and there but realistically i want you guys to be more focused on getting perfect cs rather than um going for a poke let's see if i can get this oh i did get it nice but we're up one cs really good i think this was voided so for a trading pattern, since all minions are full health, I'm just gonna throw my W and then throw my Q. You kind of you always want to use that slow to set up your abilities. Oh, there's a Nunu, and we see him. Let's be annoying. I can pressure off this early in soul. I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, contest Nunu. Oh, we are. We're gonna try. Um, snare. I'm gonna flash away just because I'm pretty low. Gonna throw in a. Once he snares. Okay, you guess it's not guaranteed. I was kind of waiting for the snare to make sure it was more guaranteed. I was kind of expecting her to flash, but there's nothing more I can do. All I want to do right now is try to push in this wave to make this guy miss as much CS as possible. Ooh. Nunu might come and punish me. I'm gonna try to crash this as fast as possible. Come on, push a little bit there. Push. And this is the only time you want to be pushed half uh, past your halfway marker, if is if you do uh, you do need to uh, crash the minion wave. And we're gonna stun them off, and we're just gonna walk away. Nice free back. So in terms of when you want to TP, so for mid lane Zerath, it's pretty much any time you back in like, if he's back in lane instantly, I'm just gonna TP back because I don't want to miss any possible minions. And he's going to push. If you notice, he's going to hold Q. He's going to try to push as fast as possible. So we're just going to TP back so we don't miss anything. 
I think I'm gonna miss this. It's fine. And when you get your first back, this is really when we all want to start looking for more aggressive pokes right now. WQ. And the most important thing is to land your Q because that's what um, we're leveling up first. So we use that W to get our slow. And the same thing is like if we get a jungle gank from like Viego, we're using our W to slow him and then throw our stun. We're using our W to set up our abilities. All right, so now since we hit level six, we're going to push in this wave and we're going to start looking top and bot. So you saw top is low, bot I haven't checked what it is. It's good to map your keybinds, uh, camera keys so we know. So I'm going to let them know I'm on my way. Oh, there's a new right here. Hmm. He's kind of too full health and really his soul's coming down. Sadly, I want to impact, uh, I really want to impact it, but there's nothing I can do. My poppy's just too low. But the best Zerats are able to impact other lanes. You can definitely use your ulti to get kills in the mid lane, but you'll find more success climbing in solo queue if you can impact bot and top with your ultimate. So we're going to check bot. Super low health AD carry. He does die, but it's really smart that we can continually see check their health bars. So this guy's going in for me. I'm using the minions to block his breath, but I don't want to use my stun per se because I'm more worried about the Nunu coming. That is all I care about. See, even though Nunu is perma ganking me, we're still applying so much pressure. I'm letting you know that I do see this guy. I am ready. Oh, whoops. Oh, I do die. I should have. I, I committed. I thought I hit the Nunu. I, I think he flashed away. Oh, he flashed away. That's unfortunate. But we're still applying really good pressure. I, I just greeted. Trying to get a little fancy feet. I shouldn't have done that, which is my fault. Which is all good. Oh, they still got him. Good. Just buy one health potion. Big tip is I see so often where mid laners, like especially in lower rank, they just buy so many pink wards and so many potions. Guys, it's so expensive. Like, you should never buy more than like four potions throughout the entire game that's including the two that you start with because these are 50 golds a piece that's expensive same with with pink words now like if you want to put down defensive pink words i'm not saying vision is not good i'm just saying that like dude if they clear your pink ward don't be investing like 175 gold like 250 gold into these pink words like you're you're setting yourself so far behind for like small vision like if you play smart kind of track your jungler and know how to like oh my god he's here again he's all right it's my fault i tried to push him i should be able to potentially get away i have a potion running and that's why it's so important to have a potion but like even when we're soaking all this pressure we're up 10 cs we're still applying pressure we're with our ulti we're still making plays but let's talk about build guys because i i can't believe i comp forgot about like Chris, what are you building? So my main build on the Zerath, the main one is going to be Malignus, which of course this reduces your ulti by 20 ability haze. What that does, it reduces the ulti cooldown by about 20 seconds, 25. So we're going to bring our ulti cooldown all the way to about 75 seconds, which is just insane. But that's what we want. We're like a Karthus. We want this as short as possible to impact the game. And second item, we're going to go Crystal Scepter. Now, we're going to go Crystal Scepter for the sole reason that we want to be able to land all of our ulties. Oh, man, it blocked the... Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. You, want, you want to continue fighting? Let's do it. Dance, buddy, dance. No shot, no shot. Oh, I think he's flying away. Well, they're getting bot, which is good. I'm going to follow this guy up. I don't know why we swapped targets, which is unfortunate. But since my Aurelian Soul did go back, the sad I couldn't get the kill. But again, we're not too focused on the kill. As long as we survive laning phase, we're a scaling champion. We're one of the strongest scalers in the game. Now, I'm not going to walk up because I know Nunu and Zyra are down here. And I'm being weak-sided, meaning that like I'm just being continuous king. I just want to survive. If I can survive early game... I've done my job. I've I've soaked pressure. I survive, even though like it's not beneficial. I'm not getting any kills from it. Surviving is overall helping my team. 
because we're taking all the new new games we're like oh you know for a fact if new new game game bot or top your teammates will be inting the biggest and best way to climb elo is know how to soak pressure and still be strong and it's hard sometimes it, it, it takes a lot of mental strain i'm gonna let him know that i'm on my way i really soul is coming got the stun right here Nice, good stun. And we're going to throw a W. They picked up the kill. Really good. Really good rooms by my team. And what I'm going to do is this is where you want to push past halfway. We want this to crash because we want him to miss as much CSXP as possible. Now, back to the builds. We're going to Malignus, Crystal Scepter. Death Cap is always third item. And then we're going to go uh, Void for the fourth item. We're going to stun this guy off. I don't know why he's so infatuated with my lane. I'm like, dude, go away. What is this? It's crazy. Again, we're surviving. Making very little mistakes. We did make a mistake by dying and greeting for a wave. But it's all for good. I have ulti if needed. And I'm just going to... I have flash. So I'm just going to push this in. I don't know where Rallying Soul is. So I'm going to ping him missing. And again, we're going to check top. Full health. We're gonna check bot. Full health. And it's no problem. And we're just gonna chill here. Because if I pushed up any farther, I'm probably just gonna get ganked. So there's no there's no real like need for me to push up. I'm just gonna continuously apply pressure by not being on vision. As long as one of the strongest things you can do as Zerath is just not even show yourself to be like, oh, is he roaming? Is he roaming? And it's like something assassins do quite often. Oh, I missed. Where they just don't show themselves and you're gonna spam missing ping them but it's like making them cry wolf and again we're gonna look bot potentially make sure there's a not pink word right here go see if she'll go in for me maybe nice get a little pick Look at Kaisa. And I'm actually going to commit for the walk down just because the fight is so close already. Nice, there's one. There's two. The dragon is missing, so I'm going to ping missing. I think he is walking down somewhere. I think he might be in try. If not, again. You don't want to walk through try, especially if there's a scary assassin mid laner. Since it's just a really in soul and had Leona follow me, I'm just gonna walk up, clear this void, and push in mid lane. But the big thing with uh, Zera to be a ex insanely good Zera mid player is knowing how to make the plays in the bot lane, where you just sit in this bush right here or sit right here and just ult you down, and then just run back to lane and not miss a single bit of XP. Alright, so he does have his upgraded ulti. I am kind of worried about the new new. What the heck? Uh, I can't flash it. If I flash this, I still die. I didn't think four of them would pop out. It's kind of insane that there's four of them. That's kind of my fault. I was expecting just new new because I wanted to just stun them and flash away. But with four there and Kai'Sa, it was pretty much guaranteed death. But again, we're still applying so much pressure. We're all good. Even with this pressure, we're st we're still up. Mm, I'm just gonna TP back to lane and hard push this in. Swap to a blue trinket because blue trinkets are so important. Oh, the taking herald. I'm gonna try to impact with my ulti. Get some nice ulti charges in. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so sad that he didn't go for Nice. Got the little fade away. Now I'm scared about Nunu coming, so I'm just gonna walk all the way down here. I stunned a little bit, so. I should be able to make a play. 
But look at this, two, two, and four, and we've been ganged like 27 times. And again, we're just gonna go for Crystal Scepter. Crystal Scepter, again, guarantees lets us to land every single ulti. Not only that, it gives us a survivability with the giant belts. It gives a lot of health with this item, 400 health. So you're like kind of like a tanky Zerab. I think this, the one thing I'm scared about this game, it's not that really in Soul. Unironically, it's a Vladimir. Mm -hmm. look, look at this. We're, already, we're still up in CS, which is just crazy. Nice little poke down. If you don't like Crystal Scepter, a good second item to get is Leandre's. Probably one of the highest damage dealing items. Never go Storm Surge, please. Nice. We're getting nice chunk damage in. Nice. We're just gonna run Kaitun into Leona. Nice. Our team was finally able to follow up. Man, this is just crazy how many... Guys, you wanna ch count how many times we've been ganked this game? It's kinda crazy. Hmm. Not much we can do. I'm gonna check bot with health bars. Real quick, he's gonna get Herald. I'm just gonna get a better reset. So I think I'm just gonna get Amptome. Dude, Poppy's kind of crazy. Doing pretty well. This is like a hyper healing um, Vladimir build. But again, we want to prioritize good CS. I would have so much more CS if I wasn't ganked so much, but being able to say we're going even with their Relian Soul is just huge. Alright, we're gonna check bot again. Semi low, look at top, full health pretty much. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna clear this away really quick if I can. Be an ego over here. They're still full health. I, I want to impact bot. They're going back though. Shadow flame. Aggressive are we? I think Nunu is coming though. Oh, I'm getting him so low. He's a really good chance we get a, a solo kill on him. Nunu's down, but Vladimir's top, but he's kind of full health. I can make a look for a play here. I think that's Zyra who used to play it. Oh no, it's really soul. Poppy is still fighting top. I don't think she has the kill pressure. Nice, got a nice little pickup right there. Really in soul coming over. Big damage. Dodge his ulti. Oh, um, or not. Dude, I was. Dude, that, was that not a dodge, guys? I want to recap. Throw the red flag. I'm, I'm throwing it down, dude. I dodged it 100%. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. I thought I had that. It's fine. We got the survive ability now. We'll be able to deal a lot of damage to him. But yeah, if you want a high damage second item instead of Rylize, if you don't like this item, I think if you master this item, this item is super OP. I'll show you why later on. Uh, you can go Shadow Flame or Leandre's as your second item. Third item is always Death Cap. And fourth item is always Void Staff. Now, as for your, like, your fifth item, you can go Horizon. You can get Crystal Scepter if you haven't. You can go Leandre's if you haven't. Look at this, she can't dodge it. With Crystal Rylize, unironically, if she doesn't have Flash, she doesn't have a counterplay. Yeah, 
If I land my first ulti, the slow is is enough for me to just uh land center ulties and kill her. Get her nice and low. Nuda's above me. Surprise, surprise. Of course, of course. Get her nice and low. And my ulti's already almost up in 30 seconds. And we just used it. Look how short our cooldown is. 67 seconds. Originally at level one, uh Zerath ulti cooldown is 130 seconds. 130. And we brought that all the way down to 67. Nice, you got away. Perfect. I'm just gonna keep pressure. You might roll it on mid, but it's fine. And look, she just came back to the lane and my ulti's almost back up. And I don't want to overcommit. Uh... They might be on Baron. Like, weirdly enough, I feel like there's a high possibility with Nunu and Aurelian Soul. Nope. Oh, okay. That's good. I just want to make sure, because, like, those two, surprisingly, can take Baron so fast. So they're making the plays there. I'm just going to hard push mid. But we're going to watch this fight, potentially. Hmm. I think I'm going to hover this. I think they're both full health. Nice and low. There's a double kill. Triple kill even, you could say? It's just as easy as that. Look at that. We scale. We're getting so strong. Just don't panic. Get to the mid game, dude. Don't be those Kale players, those Kassan players that are like, oh, I'm, I'm getting camped. There's nothing I can do. Dude, just wait. Like, we'll scale. Don't worry. The second I get death cap, I'm going to perma far this Aurelian Soul. I'm going to perma far this, this uh, AD carry. We're going to double mid lane tower. Oh, that guy's sinky. Back it up. I need a reset. I'm just gonna get this cannon. Boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. And get our reset. Dude, we can all. I can buy a mage eyes right now if I really want to. But I don't think I want to for the sole reason. Like, he's building so much MR. That remember like if they're building mr it's so important like if they were stacking more mr i think i would go voice death right now but i think um i mean i'm able to rush the death cap so you can go like i said you can go void third if they have like three pill three people building mr if not just go death cap Oh damn it. Kind of slapping now. Actually, this might be rewarded. I don't know. Nice. Look at that. I missed one shot, so it cost me to miss it. It's fine. Let's push uh, mid. I don't know why she's not taking. They can take tier 1, we don't really care. We'll just take tier 2. We'll take tier 2. Nunu might be below us, but we don't really care. Like I said, if they take tier 1, it's fine. I can TP to the next one if need it. Vega should be able to answer it if she keeps pushing. I want to overstay. We have Death Cap and Dragons com coming up in a minute. So big tip with your ulti is for team fights, like if Leo initiate it, we ulti right away. We're not using R as like a Karthus ulti. We don't want to wait till the end of the fight. We're we're using it at the start of the fight. And the reason we're using it at the start of the fight is because we want to guarantee every single hit on priority targets. 
stuff like that because they're going to be more distracted with the team fight itself rather than dodging our ulties now if you see someone caught out by all means press r and follow up so see this guy's caught out i'm pressing r instantly oh and last couple of hearts are pretty bad There's one. There's two and nine. And Poppy's holding down the Ford in top lane. Really good job. And we're just gonna push. Oh, uh, we have Zyra in five, but that doesn't really matter. We're able to take this. We can probably take Inhib and then head to Dragon. Remember, when you guys take inhib, if you do put your team on a timer. It kind of forces you to uh, kind of snowball your lead. I'm gonna let her know that let's head to dragon. Vehicle can head down. And we should, with this mid inhib down, we should be able to do a 4 1 where we go with our team down bot while Poppy splits. Now, I don't know if you've been noticing, I've been kind of. Got a little bit hard to explain, but with Zereth in the mid game, we don't really go to side lanes by ourselves. We're gonna be sticking with our team more often than not. You can soak the wave when it gets to tower. Uh oh, we can go Baron or I'm on my way. Oh, we're gonna get our void staff. They're kind of scary with the new new. But look how far we set this new new behind, because he was spam ganking us and didn't get anything off it. Even with the CSing. Looking for a pick. Again, we're just with our team. We don't make any solo play. If we, you can solo ult see if you can guarantee it, but it's a lot better if you hold it to make a play with your team. Nice little burst damage right there. Oh, I'm missing my last one. Hello. And look at this. We're waiting for our cooldowns. I'm not walking up. I'm not auto attacking. Just as easy as that. Wait. Use your cooldowns. Don't stand there auto attacking. Use that range to your advantage, guys. We can obviously push uh, mid. And there's not much to get. All right. There's a surrender vote. Just like that, guys. Just like that. And again, if you guys do enjoy this content, this Zareth gameplay, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see. What is going on with that new new? Is that new new okay? I don't think he's okay. I'll be honest. But comment down below what you want to see next. And if you haven't, check out my second channel. It's called Dubs and Grubs. Do a lot of for fun content over there. A lot of for, uh, showing off what like most OP builds, stuff like that. But let's take a look at the damage. And I really hope this guide helps you improve in your solo games. But again... Like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next one.